Welcome into the Inside Carolina 2021-22 basketball position previews. Um, next up is, I'm your host, Ross Martin, joined by Charles McMillan and Greg Barnes. Next up is freshman DeMarco Dunn, who arrived at UNC this summer. He is 6'4", 185 from West River High School in Fayetteville, North Carolina. One of two freshmen in this class. Um, DeMarco Dunn was ranked the number 67th player in the class, number 15th shooting guard, and number three player in the state of North Carolina. Shrell, you covered his recruitment. Tell us about him as a player. Um, just, you know, his kind of high school recruitment profile, what we need to know about him before we get to him kind of this season at, as a Tar Heel. He's a player who I think uh, was hurt by the pandemic from a national perspective in that uh, we had been hearing things even before he became you know, got on UNC's radar, that he was someone that we needed to watch. He was going to play with the Garden Road AAU program, uh, which produced Isaiah Hicks and Dayron Sharp from UNC. And um, I think had he had that season, his profile would be a little bit higher. However, I still think he can have an impact at UNC this season. It just, again, depends on uh, what Hubert Davis is going to value. You know, if you look at it from, from the outside, you'd have to think he's the third guard off of the bench behind uh, R.J. Davis and Anthony Harris. However, he's a he's a really good shooter, and he is uh, very very athletic for someone his size. So if there's a situation where shooting is called upon to to be had from from Hubert Davis at the two spot um, behind Corbin Walton, I think Dunn could come in and fill that. Now, it is always difficult for freshmen, regardless of system, regardless of Roe Williams, to come in and shoot well from three. So that will be something he has to work on. But I think this season for him is really about getting himself. Um, lathered up with college basketball um, so that he can have a bigger role as a sophomore but you know injuries happen and and um, foul trouble happens and so you never know when you'll be called upon yeah I think you know, covering his recruitment a little bit you saw a really good shooter who can score in a variety of ways and fairly athletic Greg you've covered UNC you've covered freshman guards um, how do you see a guy like DeMarco Dunn fitting in what do you think kind of the mentality is for him and for Hubert Davis and working him into this team and this roster well we've talked about the, the necessity of being versatile in the modern day of college basketball and that applies to what Hubert Davis wants to do uh you know Roy Williams has said that, that Dunn's a guy that can potentially play all three positions uh, the one two and the three and so just that versatility I think it's going to give him some opportunities um and yeah I mean if he's if he's able to shoot early um, which, as Sherelle said, is, is very difficult uh, as, a, as a true freshman. But that's going to get you minutes. I mean, what happened with Corbin Walton last year, right? I mean, he was the only guy that really could shoot, came in and actually he grabbed a starting role. Um, and so he's got good size. I think that's, that's a great thing about him. And so if he can come in and provide some good defensive minutes, he can pick up that part of it. Uh, he can learn some how to play at this level. That's going to be key because when you look at this roster, he, they don't necessarily need him. Like, if he plays, it's not out of necessity. It's out of, well, this kid came in and really balled out from day one, which would be a good thing for North Carolina. Uh, but that's going to give him opportunity to, to really play against good players and really set him up uh, for the years to come. Hubert Davis has, has had high praise for him, uh, some incredible praise, saying that <laughs> by the time he leaves, may be one of the best players in, in North Carolina yeah. basketball history. Um, strong strong comments for sure. But I think the, the opportunity is there for him to – to really kind of develop and mature without having all the pressure that comes with being a, a Tar Heel freshman guard. And clearly that's a good thing for him. Yeah. If he can come in and make some shots, one or two threes a game during maybe the 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes he gets, that's all you can ask for. In my opinion, and you look at his ranking. I mean, he's, he's 67 in the country. Uh, Corwin was like 120, And so there was such a, a discrepancy there between kind of what the, uh, the, the recruiters thought about Kerwin versus what he really was. Uh, Cheryl, do you have anything to add about what DeMarco Dunn can kind of fit in this season, what he can, what he can do? I, you know, he's, he's, uh, like I said, he's fairly athletic. So I think there's a chance if he picks up the defensive principles that he could be uh, impactful on that side of the ball just because of his size, his strength, his athletic ability. So that's something to watch out for too. Yeah, and he'll be competing with Anthony Harris for minutes, kind of backing up um, Kerwin Walton at the two. All right, freshman DeMarco Dunn entering his first year in Chapel Hill.